What's up guys? Good morning, good evening, whatever time you're watching this. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, nice to meet you. If you've already been here before, welcome back. My name is Chris, I'm the singer of the Black Hand and now the sole producer of the whole project. Today what I'm going to do is give you guys some advice and some tips on how to do false chord gutturals, aka lows, aka the super filthy, brutal sounding, you know. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. So you want to have proper breathing, that's step number one. And the way we're going to properly breathe is we want to breathe from our diaphragm. Instead of breathing normal with your chest, you don't want to do that. What you want to do is breathe with your stomach. All right, so after the proper breathing, you know how to breathe now. The first step, I think the easiest sound to make is like, uh, 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 uh. So you're going to lean into it. Uh, uh, uh. You start to get the feeling of that sensation. So the key here is if you add too much pressure, it's going to fuck you up. If you don't add enough pressure, it's going to fuck you up. So this, an example of not enough pressure, you're going to end up with this uh, whispery sound like <laughs> It's coming from there. That's not what you want. You got a little bit more volume and a little bit more compression. Now compression is holding back air, so uh, uh, happening I'm gonna show you my stomach that is what is controlling the whole thing all right so now let's say that you've got the steady rumble you have a feeling for it you understand what it feels like you got the steady vibration and you're breathing right, you have proper technique, it's not hurting. Now you can experiment with moving around. So, so in my head, I envision this line that starts here. I move it back, almost like the letter C. with that. So now what you do is you experiment with mouth shape. So you're moving up and down and it's in this slight arced feeling. That's the way it's like directing the sound. If you want to make it more gurgly, you can use your tongue like this. Your tongue in that shape. So. <laughs> so the tongue is supposed to be this here and it's bending. <laughs> it really helps like change the way the sound is because now you're creating pockets. Um, now one of the things I see Alex Terrible do it's this exhale. So like if you, um, I was kind of messing with this where I sing like the lowest note I can sing like, Naturally, super low voice to begin with. He talks like this. He's got the very deep voice. I have to like try to talk that deep. So it makes sense to me why when he exhales, he sounds he sounds like a fucking bear. But it doesn't mean you can't sound sick too or sound like a different type of bear. But 
I'm losing myself. I lost the point here. You want to experiment with mouth shape, like change, like another thing you do is put your tongue up. So that's coming from a center place. So if you can see, it's not that low. I'm just doing, just mess with that. So funny. The crazy thing is behind this, there's there's like a really, usually a funny note. Like if you take um, Mitch Lucker from Unanswered, he goes, and all your prayers will go unanswered. It really is, and all your prayers will go unanswered. And all your prayers will go it's a really funny ass sound behind it um, without the vocal distortion without the compression you just sound kind of goofy <laughs> say it don't spur it it's pretty pretty interesting actually um, now I hope I hope that this like you know mimicking the sound helps you the way it helped me um, the way I learned this to begin with was singing along to like you know the cleansing different songs in the cleansing it took a while to understand it I didn't even understand what I was doing I mean, at first it didn't feel good it kind of hurt if it hurts you're not doing it right the other thing is is it will hurt less over time like even when you're doing it right and you first get started you have to build up endurance so I wouldn't suggest practicing for more than like 30 minutes at a time when you first start because um, you will feel wear. You will feel wear and tear. Um, but as you get the technique right, as you learn it, as you build the muscles in your throat and you're singing, uh, screaming from from your diaphragm, you know, I think that's the most important part of singing from your diaphragm. And hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey will activate the diaphragm. Hey, hey, hey. It's like, mess with that. Hey, 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 hey. Try to get that sound. I, I feel like the step from hey, hey, that whispery sound that uh, is normally where I think people start. The step from there to the hey is, is going to be the, the more challenging part for you in the beginning. But, but as soon as you get it, You'll be able to build off that, so give it your all, don't give up, you got this. Um, if you like this video, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, there's going to be more tutorial videos like this, my light just died. I've been trying to film this video for a long time, it's harder to film a video than it looks, it's not easy. Um, yeah, smash the thumbs up, <laughs> smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. The next video, I'm going to teach you guys how to fry scream which is a totally different style of singing, screaming, whatever you want to call it. If you like this video, I already said that. I'm just going to I'm just I'm just going to go.